So there is just so much stuff going out right now with the iPhone 12s or iPhone 13, whatever Apple's going to call it, basically the next 2021 iPhone. And we got so many leaks that just came out like literally the last couple of days. And what's so crazy is, is that I was thinking to myself that Apple really has it pretty easy this year, really every other manufacturer, because Samsung kind of, you know, is usually the main device of that year or one of the main devices. And they kind of, they didn't flop, but it's definitely not like a top tier device as we expected. If Apple or OnePlus or any other manufacturer, even like, you know, LG, they have pretty much an open playing field. And this is why even if this is an S upgrade, it's actually a pretty good upgrade in my opinion based on these things. So first of all, same design on the outside, but we could potentially be getting an always on display on this specific iPhone model. Now, I think this in and of itself will be something that's extremely awesome. I am somebody who uses my Apple Watch and sometimes I may not have my watch with me. And sometimes I'll be honest, my watch doesn't even ring or vibrate whenever I get a notification for my iPhone. But having some sort of always on display with just, you know, all that type of information, whether I get a text or, you know, whatever it is, same thing that Samsung's had for a long time, that would be an extremely awesome thing to have on this type of device and I think that would be groundbreaking but I do think that's kind of like more of a software feature so Apple may actually bring that with iOS 15. I'm not really too sure but that was something that I was thinking of right off the bat. On the outside specifically on the back we could be seeing a refined matte black model as well that's what these leaks are suggesting and I think that's a pretty cool thing it's supposed to be a little bit more grippier and I think that's awesome. I actually am in love with how the, you know, original iPhone 11 Pro's matte back was. And I think the 12 Pro is pretty much the same thing. But if this 12S Pro or 12 Pro, whatever they're going to call it, 13 Pro, that if it can get a little bit of an improvement, that's good enough for me. I the, the back wasn't even a complaint for me at all. The bigger complaint for me is probably the screen, the lack of touch ID, the lack of the 120 hertz. And based on these rumors, we could be seeing this also get an improvement here as well. Now, the 120 hertz may be specifically for the top tier models and some are even saying that it may be for the just the 13 pro max or the 12s pro max if that ends up being the case i think that's going to be awesome but i would have liked to see it at least on like the 12 pro or the 13 pro you know i, I don't want to see it just on the you know most expensive model because some people may not want to go up to that big of a size they may want still a pro device but they don't necessarily want to have that big of a device the price may not even be a factor but they don't want to carry a big phone but they want to have the 120 hertz this is where samsung kind of got it right for keeping the 120 hertz on all their devices and i'm hoping apple will also do it for this type of device it'd be awesome if all of them get it maybe maybe not but that's kind of what we'll see here now a little bit more of a detail on what the always on display might actually have. They're saying it's going to be kind of like a toned down lock screen. That's kind of what this is saying. It's going to be able to show you the clock and the charge of the battery. And it's going to be able to show you some type of notifications as like bars and icons. And when you actually get a notification, it will actually pop up normally, except for that screen will not entirely light up. So I think that's going to be really cool. We all have OLED displays on all the iPhones now. So it only makes sense to have this. Obviously, if you have, you know, like the earlier on models you know with ips technology such as the iphone 11 iphone 10r maybe you won't be able to utilize it because it's just going to suck up the you know, ton of battery but something like an always on display on an oled device doesn't really take up that much battery so there was one little thing too i might as well throw in here we really don't know if there's going to be an iphone 12s mini apparently from what people are saying it's you know apple's probably going to keep it but whether they keep it or not it's already been, you know, a flop in one way, but it's also made a killing for Apple because they were able to secretly kind of jump up the price for all these models and make us subliminally not really think that. So even if they don't bring it next year, it wasn't really a flop anyway. So that really pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. Send me so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.